So we got a big entry here. You can put a bench or something. It's tiled. It's not horrible, but the carpet's horrible. It's got this kind of old school looking etched post. Anyways, you walk in to the left, you have a huge long living room. It's not very wide, but it's wide enough. Great yellow color. It's got a nice fireplace. I mean, that's one good thing. You don't have to redo the fireplace. It's not the 80s rock. This laminate flooring is actually pretty good in this room. There are a couple places that are scratched, but I'm sure you can just paint those. So this room, you don't have to do any flooring. You know, you just have to paint it. Maybe some trim. If you really want to get crazy, you do tongue and groove, you know, ceiling. You just have to turn this into a cabin, not a house. I'm 99% sure this wall right here, until the stairs, is not bearing. So you could actually open this up a little bit, or at least maybe do a breakfast bar right here, and have the kitchen open into the living room over here in the dining area. You can have, you know, you can do one of those little nooks right there that Stintz does. Just little things like that. I know those aren't normal, but the kitchen is decent size. It also has a breakfast area there. A lot of counter space. Horrible lighting. Old 80s lighting. Here's what I was talking about in the garage. You walk in. Don't trip. The two car, that's a two car garage right there. So it's an oversized one car garage, but this isn't, this isn't a door. So I was thinking this is definitely big enough to do a little game room off of. It'll be a long game room, kind of like the living room. It's almost just as long. You come out that door into the game room area and then make a door. Actually, you don't have to make the door. It's right here into the garage. So that's some space that's not being utilized correctly, in my opinion. High ceiling. There's storage over here, so you really aren't losing anything by making this a usable room over here. And then that would give you a game room slash fourth sleeping area. Back out front, sorry. I was wondering what that noise was. So we're back to the front again. If you would have gone straight in, the kitchen's over there, obviously, and then you have a huge laundry utility closet here. So it's almost, almost big enough to turn into something else, like, but like an office, if you got rid of all these, but that's not worth the effort. But it would be nice to maybe put this in a closet, you know, put a door or something across this side so you're not looking at all that. You'd still have a walk-in laundry room and then just a utility closet there. There's also a bathroom right over here, half bath, when you first walk in. So this does have central forced heat. Just your basic bathroom. Everything in here actually is not bad. The walls and everything are in decent shape and the tile's horrible. But uh, the vanities are actually salvageable. Maybe some work again by stints. A little closet. And then let's go upstairs. Upstairs has a nice landing. You get up here. You know, you can make this look really cool. People love these landings because there's not too many houses in Big Brother have them. Obviously, you get rid of the glass chandelier. So you have a bedroom to the right. Two of the bedrooms are about the same size, which are almost, you know, they're basic bedrooms, but they're, you don't want to make them any smaller. And then you have a huge master for some reason. This one has its own stoop. This yard is huge and actually pretty nice. I mean, even though you back up to neighbors, it's not like the rest of the neighborhood 
where you have a claustrophobic feel. You do have the neighbor to the side there on the flag lot. You got a bedroom on this side, pretty much the same size. I don't know who designed this house, but they should have put the bathroom between these two rooms and the closet on this side, but they didn't, so too late now. But anyways, another bedroom. You know, big tree out back. Bunch of fruit trees. I'm sure this place looks a lot better in the summer or spring. Bathroom. So the shared bathroom, just a three-quarter bath. Be easy to just turn that into a tile shower, do something rustic in the bathrooms. Again, the walls are not in bad shape. This wallpaper can come down, and I don't think you need to do much more than paint schemes, different paint schemes up here once you get the drywall off, so let's labor again. And then this room is way too big. It should either be turned into two bedrooms with one, you know, one master. This has a wet bar, which would be kind of weird for any bedroom. This would be best as a game room. If you could figure out a way to put another bedroom somewhere, maybe downstairs by the garage, I don't know. It's not the best spot for it. But this room is way too big. This wall could easily be the entrance to a, its own master bedroom. See where this wall pops out? If you finish that off and put a door right there, that's your master bedroom. But then this would be more of like a den, walkthrough, kind of hangout area, which would still work because it's another sleeping area. Could be a fourth sleeping area. The wet bar, again, is still kind of out of place, but it is what it is. I almost guarantee there's drywall behind this paneling. This paneling is actually not bad for paneling. Again, I don't know if, if you went rustic, I don't know if you need to change these vanities, change the tops and the, you know, these, but you can make these rustic, or stints can definitely do it. And then you got your bath room that needs to be redone, but. Put your prison toilet right there. There you go.